Hello everyone. In this series of videos, we started working on <coughs> lab, si lab 6 implement network traffic management. This lab is a part of AZ-104 exam, which is for the Microsoft Azure certif Administrator, Administrator Certification. Excuse me. And all of the labs are available on the GitHub under Microsoft Learning. And I'll give you the link in the video itself. Now, for this particular series, this lab is divided into six different tasks. In the first lab, in the previous video, we have deployed the lab environment. And since this COVID situation, I think there is some limits on the regional uh, number of quotas. So we have tried to use a much uh, you know cheaper and much weaker version of the system than what's required. Or what's mentioned in the lab so in this lab we're gonna start on the task 2 but we'll take a look at quickly about the provision state of the lab environment so let's do that first so let's go to our Azure environment and in the last lab we really did the deployment using arm template and we created three different resource groups rg1 rg2 and rg3 so let's go to rg1 <clears throat> so if I go there under deployment it clearly says there is one failed so let's let's look at what failed so if I look at error details so it looks like it's saying uh, a Microsoft Com custom script extension is the only thing that has problem so I still feel like uh, for both machines so I still feel like you know this lab we probably would be able to use most of it until there is a specific need for uh, running uh, sparsal commands within those virtual machines <clears throat> so let's go back to our overview actually let's go back to uh, resource groups again so we looked at one let's, let's look at two and the second one again it says the deployment failed so you click there click for more details and it's the same thing the custom script extension that gave us trouble so let's close that one look look at three <clears throat> and this one look at that this one I didn't have any problem so for this particular deployment it was completely successful so I feel we should be mostly okay to do the lab if we hit any problem we'll try to troubleshoot at that time so let's now go back to the lab and let's go to task two see what do we need to do on for the to complete task 2 so here we're going to configure the hub and spoke network topology okay in this task we're going to configure local peering between virtual networks that you have deployed in the previous task in order to create a hub and spoke network topology so if you have never done that it's it's not really that difficult uh, you just have to figure out where or which two networks you know to do the peering so you can talk from one address space to the another address space easily if you don't have the peering then one machine deploy in one virtual network cannot speak to the other virtual machine deployed in a different virtual network so let's do this is saying uh, look for the virtual networks and review the virtual networks that I, that I created in the previous task so come over here search for the virtual networks and click on the virtual network blade so these are the three virtual network that we created in the previous lab this one was old so we just uh, paid some attention looks like all three of them were created in the East US though okay let me see if there was one I'm just checking if there was one any requirement for changing our location uh, at any point so second virtual machine using no it did never said to create so I think we are good so all three virtual networks they are uh, in the same region at least for this lab <coughs> In the list of virtual network click the vnet one so let's go and get to that particular virtual network okay, let's click on that one and 
what we want to do in the settings section click on peering then add so it's pretty pretty simple as I said the peering and right now no peering is defined so we're gonna click add and once I click add then and we're gonna set this peering configuration like this so for the name look at the convention so name is like your, your peering vnet1 so that the packets can flow from 1 to vnet2 so let's copy that and for the name this is the name that we want to use virtual network deployment model is the resource manager that's already selected that's good then name of the Azure Surf subscription uh, whatever you have you choose that one virtual network uh, we already said that we're gonna do from 1 to 2 so the 2 has to be selected so that's what and now you also have to say what do you need to do for the traffic that are coming from 2 back to 1 network so you have to assign the reverse traffic name and for the most part you want this to enable typically these two are going to be disabled unless you want to forward the traffic from these subnets to even another virtual network where you have not created any peering just yet. Uh, for this particular lab, looks like uh, we we are making all of them enable. So let's uh, make all of them enable. Uh, allow gateway transit. Uncheck the box. So we are not going to configure any gateway transit for the lab. And then you can click on OK note wait for the operations to complete so let's see so it's working on over here again you can click on this button right there once this is done you should be able to see something uh, will show up under the peering let's read the note this step establishes two local peering one from the vnet1 to vnet2 and the other from the vnet2 to vm1 and again as i said note allow forward traffic needs to be enabled in order to facilitate routing between spoke virtual ma virtual network which you will implement later in this lab all right so let's see if they're done yeah looks like that's done you can do a, a refresh if you like but this is says the peering status is connected and gateway we are still not using uh, this is my peer so we are on vnet1 that's my peer network so if I go to that one and let's go to peering and look at that. So it has already created the peer to vnet2 to 1 and here is my peer which is a vnet1 and again gateway is we are not using. All right. So now it's saying on the vnet network blade go to go to peering and click add. So now we have worked on the uh, zero network which network did we work on so this network we already worked on vnet1 and now we are going to okay we're going to still stick to that same network and we're going to configure the peering with vnet3 so let's do that again so let's go back to vnet1 so let's go back to vnet1 let's go to peering one more time and now we have already created peering with vnet2 now we're going to create peering with vnet3 so this is actually what i need uh oh and if this happens just move that bar right here okay so let's put it there and virtual network you can only select the three so here virtual network you see it's already telling this cannot be selected because we have already created vnet with two one is the network from where I'm trying to create the vnet so this is the only vnet that where you can really available where you can assign a vnet peering and this is not part of the lab so I just click that one and name we're gonna give the reverse name sorry the reverse name should be this uh oh <laughs> I do that a lot so bring it back and again over here we want to enable everything and that's uh, Microsoft is saying that is needed for hub and spoke um, topology again let's read uh, let's save this and while it's happening read the note this step establishes two local peering from vnet1 to vnet3 
and the other from vignette 3 to vignette 1. So now notice that we still haven't done any pairing between vignette 2 and 3. But I, I think since these are enable allow forwarded traffic from 3 to 1 and 1 to 3, you should still be able to connect. Okay, if we can't absolutely, then we'll have to create another pairing with between 2 and 3. All right, so I think for this lab, we have done all the steps that's needed. So if I go in here now under vignette 1, I have two pairing that are established. And if I go to 3 and go under pairing, see, I have only one. I don't have two pairings here. But if you go back, let's go back, go back one more time. And if I go to vignette 2 and peering, again, I have only one peering. So, so there is no peering explicitly de behind, defined between vignette 2 and vignette 3. All right. With that, I'm going to end this video right here. In the next video, uh, what we'll do, we'll do some testing for the connectivity between these virtual network peering and make sure our peering is working the way it should. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe for more videos and good luck with that exam. Thank you.